Good afternoon, guys. Come on in. Let's spend a little time today on this Friday having some happy hour crafting fun. Okay, let me dry this and we will do the glass. I'm excited to do the glass. You want, you want it totally dry before adding resin is why I'm just making sure that everything we just did is totally dry. When you're doing resin art, you always wear gloves. Always, always wear gloves. Don't do it if you don't have gloves. Just wait till you can get some. Um, if you ever purchase a kit from me, I include everything you need. So the, the gloves, the toothpick, the cup, the stick, everything's in there. Um, you've got a hardener and a resin and it's one to one. So if I use half an ounce, I'm gonna use half an ounce of this. So it's always uh, one to one. You're gonna take your cup and I like to actually mark it before I start, before I ever touch the resin. I'll go ahead and mark it. I'm gonna do, hmm, I think I'm gonna do a fourth of an ounce of each. So that will be half an ounce total. I don't know, I might need a little more than that. Let me think. Because I don't really know what size this is, but it's probably, let's do a, just a little more. I'd rather have a little more than I need than not enough. And I always recommend having um, something that you can resin real quick, like, you know, maybe another piece you've done recently or an ornament. Uh, because that way you don't ever waste, but that's okay if you don't have something then you know and Time is what helps you know how much Resin there is a calculator on the art resin website and it will tell you how much to use But I'll just be honest and it, it tells you a little more than what you truly need um, And that's so that you can get a really nice good thick coating, but I personally don't like the thick coating. I like it thinner and I don't want it to, now this actually is perfect because it's not going to run, but if I was doing this on a canvas, which would be turned to this, say this was your canvas and I did a really thick coating, it's going to run all off the sides and onto my table and get messy. I would need to tape this really well. So I just prefer to do a thinner coat. It's still beautiful and, um, and still covered great. So let me grab some glass. I'm gonna grab brown. I'm gonna grab white. I am gonna grab, this is like a champagne color. Look at this, that's gonna be gorgeous. Um, that's probably all I need. Little bit of green. We could do a little bit of green down for the glass, for the grass. I think that's good. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good and pretty. I'm excited about all this glass. Let me turn this to you. Now, another thing I wanna say is, uh, you can probably tell that this is not level because I've got a little pad on my desk that is removable. I can just clean, make, makes it easy cleanup. So I will set this over on a shelf that is level and I set it on top of a couple of jars so that, you know, it's on two jars and that way if it's canvas, it can just run off the side. Never happens because I don't use that much resin. I don't like it to run off. But that's the recommended way to do it is have it up on something so it can run off. This does not need to be up on something, but it does need to be on something level. If it's not level, even in the least little bit, then you're gonna have one side that's you know covered well and this side will be uh, barely covered. So it, it looks terrible. You won't want to sell it or give it. So um, this is all glass that I buy broken, but I do, have some glass that I have broken, um, but I use it more for larger pieces, not for these. So, any other questions? Yeah, that champagne is gonna be pretty. Okay, got your gloves on. And also, another tip is, it's really the preferred way to have two cups and mark one resin, one hardener. But because I don't need that much for this project, 
um, I'm going to use one cup. If I was doing a larger piece and I needed more, obviously I need a cup of each and then pour it into a third larger cup, like the size of a Dixie cup or bigger, you know, so that you can stir it. But for this, one cup will work. You're going to pour in your first item. So this, in my case, is hardener. I'm going to go right up to the line. And you want it to be exact. You want exactly the same amount of each. So typically you'll have this on your level surface and you know look at it so you can be sure. But since we're doing this live and I'm not going to get down on the floor to make sure it's level, just we're going to assume that it's totally the perfect. And I'm, I'm trying to be really careful because you want it to work. You don't want all of this time and effort and then it not to set up correctly. So if I have the exact ratio one to one, it will be perfect. So use one, put the lid on, set it aside. Okay. Ah. I didn't even put my glass down. I just I just went right into um, to stirring. And I know Christy has my time. She'll time me for three minutes, exactly three minutes. And right now it's cloudy. Can y'all see that it's cloudy? Uh, but after I'm done stirring, it will be completely clear. And can y'all see okay? Yeah. Um, you stir just like this, just kind of slow and easy do not whip it it's not cake it's not batter so don't whip it or you're going to have a ton of air bubbles you want it to just be gently stirred you're going to be fine when you stir something for three minutes even if it's slow it's going to be mixed well um you like his eyebrows good melissa thanks and then every so often take your stick and just get that resin back down into the mix and stir and I'm taking my stick and going around the sides every so often and scraping the bottom. You just want all of it to be mixed well. I also highly, highly recommend you not touch resin of any kind of any brand until you've done your research. I have done my research and for me, I have chosen the Art Resin brand. I think it's the safest that I can find. Now, um, it's probably been a year since I've done that research. There may be other kinds that are as safe uh, that I would feel comfortable with now, but at that time, this is what I found that was the safest. I don't want to put anything in my home that could hurt my brain or my family's brain or my dog's health or our health. You're breathing this in, um, so it can be very bad for people. You can research you can just google results from breathing in resin and see what has happened to people so don't take it lightly that's what i'm saying i'm not trying to scare anybody but i am trying to um, warn you that it's important to know what you're breathing and don't trust anybody <laughs> you know when you when you see people say oh yeah it's safe i don't even use a respirator okay good let me go research and be sure that that's true okay um, because, and that goes for me, you know, I want you guys to be sure that you're comfortable using what we all recommend. Um, and I take it very seriously and I've tried to, you know, gently warn people when I see things I know are not safe. Um, but you know, I, it's not, it's not my place. I just want everybody to be aware that you need to know what you're using and what's in your home and what people are breathing and all that let's see yes that's right melissa better to be safe than sorry for sure this is already getting clear i always know i'm kind of watching for christy to say stop when i see it start getting clear but again we're just kind of scraping off our stick and scraping the sides and all that can y'all see that, that it's clear? I don't know if that will show you on camera. Um, I'm gonna set this aside. I've now got about 30 to 40 minutes before this is not gonna be usable anymore. You know, when I say not usable, it's gonna start to get hard. So I do have time to go ahead and put my glass on here. Typically, I put my glass before I mix. I just was excited 
Um, this is kind of what some of the crushed glass looks like. It's really, really pretty. This is what I do include in my kits because I, most places don't sell it small. Most places sell large bags of it, and, and I know that you guys don't usually want a large bag. Most people just want to try it, try and see if they like it, and then if they do and they want to sell it or something, then you're going to want to get a big bag. But until you know, so that's kind of what I do is just include a little baggie of it, enough to do your project, and you get to see if you like it. And, you know, some people are totally hooked and like, yes, I'm adding glass to everything from now on. Uh, did you get the glass from Amazon? Yes, Tarita, I did. I have uh, it linked in my Amazon store. So when you go to my website, one of the pages on there says my favorite art and craft supplies, and it has an Amazon store link. And you can get on there and look and see the one I use. You don't have to order that one. You can just kind of see what I use and then keep looking if you want to try to find a better price or something. I'm just adding some of this down here to represent the grass. And I typically put it like this. I typically um, lay it down how I want it, but you can dump it. And we might dump it. Anna's hooked. Yay! It's so fun. It just really makes your projects look so pretty. I'll hold up a couple that I've done in just a second. Um, here's the brown. It's so pretty. I think it's probably not called brown, but um, we could put some on the log if we want. Sometimes I like to just do a few things and not everything. Um, I usually don't like cover the whole thing. I just sprinkle it on. This is what I'm excited about. This is like champagne color. You all see that? Oh, so pretty. So this is what I think is going to really make this pretty. And you can literally just sprinkle on however much you want. Whenever I sell it, I give you enough to do the design that is pictured. So if you, you know, wanted to buy a kit, but you were like, hey, can you give me more of the blue? Just send me a message and we'll, you know, add it to it. But, um, but I just give you enough that you can do what I did with it. And, you know, again, you can put as much or as little as you like. I tend to do it about just like this, just kind of sprinkling it through so that some of the art shows through. Tweezers are also another good thing to have. I use, I got these on Amazon in a kit with a lot of other things, so they're longer. They're not just like, you know, eyebrow tweezers, but um, tweezers to pick up and move glass sometimes is very helpful. So if anybody paints this little owl, please show me. I, you do not know how much joy I get from seeing your paintings and designs and what you do with it. I have a group, a free group called Art and Craft Showcase. That's the best place to put your pictures. You can show me what you're doing. Um, but you can, you know, if you're in the VIP group, I always tell them just, just post it, just post away. You know, I want to see whatever you're doing. We also do a gift card giveaway every month. So anybody who paints one of my designs or makes something that I make or one of the guest crafters or artists, um, then they're in the drawing as many times as they do it for a giveaway. And it's a $20 Amazon gift card. So you, you get your money back that month if you win. Because it's just 18 a month. Okay, I think that's good. I probably could find a good piece for the beak if I really wanted to. Oh, y'all, that's perfect. Look at the beak. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see the beak? I don't know if you can. Hi, Janice from Tennessee. I know, Donna, it does. I hate to cover it. Do you like that on the beak? Okay, Marty says, perfect to just have a few. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is the fun part. Uh, well, that was the fun part to me, but uh, we've stirred this. It's done for three minutes. Totally good. Okay, good. 
and I'm just going to drizzle this over every single piece of glass. So just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Once I see that it's touched the pieces of glass, then I move on to the next section. I want just a, a dot of resin is all I'm worried about on every single piece of glass. I don't want there to be one piece of glass that doesn't have a drizzle on it. And what that will do, that resin will drizzle down and touch the surface, whatever it is you're, you've got under, in this case it's wood, and that uh, piece of glass will not move once it starts to cure. And so that's what I'm wanting. I don't want, you know, any movement. I've got them where I want them, so I'm just drizzling over each little piece. And then once I know each piece has been touched, I can use the rest to just pour over the rest. And it's not hard to tell, like I can tell now, I'm just kind of going back over, but I can tell I've got every single piece is covered. And I'll hold this up, maybe you can see. I don't know if, I don't think y'all can tell, but every piece is covered. So now we can just uh, pour this kind of in the other areas and it will self level. So as it sits on a level surface, the resin will just move around the piece and spread out. I don't mean move around like mobile, but you know, it just oozes out and spreads out and will cover the rest of it. So I will take this stick and help it so that, you know, I can know that it's all good and covered. So I do try to use every drop that's in this cup and get it out onto the piece. And I also use one of these little scrapers from the Dollar Tree. People buy them in the makeup area to use for facial masks. And this is a fantastic, because it's silicone, so very easy to clean. And this is the perfect spreader. See how it just spreads it out perfectly? And I do want it to touch the sides and cover the background. You can kind of lift some up like a spatula and move it down here and then help that to spread out. So this is like literally $1.25 and I've used it for months and months and after I'm done I just wipe it with a paper towel and every now and then I'll take alcohol and wipe it off real good to be sure you know there's no cakiness or anything but the silicone items are perfect to have for this because they clean really easily. Y'all still with me? So I'm just, you can see, I'm just working it into the different spots and being sure everything's covered. And then it will finish and kind of finish spreading out. But this way I can be sure when I set it aside, it is not going to look weird. It's all going to be covered. And and watch a few. You know, I've got a lot of tutorials on Facebook and YouTube. Before you invest in any of this, be sure that you like it and want to do it and be sure you've read about the safety. And um, Art Resin has the safety data sheet. Of course, all of them should have them on their website, but you can read about it. I have a fan going and if it was cooler I would definitely have my window open even though this smell does not bother me and I do get migraines from smells so if that tells you something you know it's really not a strong smell at all 
uh, but if you're at all worried about it, do wear a mask. You can get a respirator even. Um, I've not looked into that, but... Or, of course, if you have health issues that you are concerned about, you know, maybe resin's not something you want to mess with. Just, just stick with the painting then. Just moving a little bit down here. Okay, I think I've got it all covered. But what I do now at this point is uh, hold it up in a different, so I'll kind of turn it and be sure. So once you start turning it, you can see and I do see, I don't know if y'all can see this spot, but I do see a spot that didn't get any right in here. So I am going to kind of move this around and bring it in and be sure all that is covered. So we're good. Y'all can see, can y'all see how pretty? Let me see if I can get this light on it. Can y'all see a little bit maybe? So this will continue to level out as I set it on something uh, level over here on my shelf. And I will show you the finished product tomorrow. I will cover this. Let me see if I have my little, hold on guys. I can reach it. I got it. I got it. This is something I found like at, um, was it TJ Maxx or Ross? Uh, and it was like four or $5.99. It was real cheap. But they do have these sometimes at Dollar Tree. Of course, they're plastic and cheap. But I had one for a long, long time and it worked great. So if you see one at the Dollar Tree, grab it. Um, but this will cover it perfectly so that I can see in it and just kind of check on it if I want to and then lift it off tomorrow. But that will keep, uh, you know, if you get a fly in your house or you have dog fur flying around or anything, that will keep it from hurting your product. I think the glass just does take it over the top. It's not for everybody, so I totally get that, but it is really fun to do. And um, I'll kind of peek you down, you see, uh, we've got blue bonnets and flowers. There's a sunflower on the bottom shelf. I've got a watermelon and a peacock. And, oh, the little witch coming out of the cauldron. And then some more flowers. So um, we have, a, oh, and there's a pumpkin back there. Do you see the little pumpkin right there? There's a Mackenzie Childs kind of wannabe check inspired piece back there. Um, but I love adding the resin. I don't do it to everything, but it is, it's really fun and it kind of does bring it up. So this will be beautiful hanging on the wall when it's finished. And I will show y'all the, you know, the finished product tomorrow. So come look for a picture. You guys are awesome. So have a great day. Have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you next time. I hope. Be sure you're following me if you're not. Thanks guys. Bye.